Now, imagine you're working as an illustrator. You get your paper and your pen one day, and the next day you're supposed to work with glass instead. Super easy, right? I don't really think that's easy. No? Does anyone know, maybe? Oh, I know. So <laughs> every drawing you do is the product of an enormous yeah. amount of... It's, of course, James Jarvis in the dread. audience. Welcome up here, and please tell us about the Art Event Project. I expected you to say that. I know. Well, hello, James. You're an artist from London, and you're best well known for your distinctive car cartoon characters. How did you end up in this collaboration with Marcus? Um, I don't know. How did I end up here? Yeah, in Elm Hood. What am I doing here? Yeah, <laughs> a bunch of people, people looking at you. He's a great guy, he's a great artist. Um, yeah. I guess that's why. I was asked by um, Ikea if I wanted to make a decorative glass object, and I thought, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Why Sounds not? Sounds great. We'll get to that. I want to know first, what is the purpose of the art event? You know, we've been working for 70 years or so now, uh, trying to perfect our idea of democratic design on products. But what about democratizing art? Art should be for the many people too. So that's why we do the art events. We have been doing them three times now, and this time around is the first time that we're actually doing objects. And, uh, you know, we like to put people into awkward spots also because something happens with like James creativity. Right yeah. If you're used to doing comics, what would happen if you force someone like that to work in glassware? Well, it's hard and it's hot. You're on the wrong track because art is an autocracy, not a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> Every day for me is an autocratic art day, not a democratic design A day, day with James, beautiful. Oh, let's fight about that tonight. Actually, behind us right now, you can see all of the collaborations for the art event and they're featured in the exhibitions upstairs. So I guess you'll all go see that afterwards. But James, what made you excited about working in a new material for you? Just working in a new material for me. It was very exciting. Oh. You know, I, I make drawings. That's how I make sense of the world. And for me, drawing is the kind of fundament of everything I do. But I know that to communicate my ideas, it's very interesting to turn those drawings into other things. And so the chance to make an object in a new medium is an opportunity for learning something new. So what did you end up doing? So I ended up making this hand, which is both a peace sign and it's a slightly <laughs> rude gesture <laughs> in English. Obviously, Ikea didn't realise that it was reversible. They is this a prize for you, Marcus? <laughs> no, didn't um, have any clue about that at all. <laughs> but we tried to make something based on characters, but that proved too difficult. And then I thought, what is my work actually about? And one of the things I'm really interested in is language and symbols. So we made a symbol and it's a reversible symbol. So you can cool. display it on a mantelpiece and it can reflect After your mood. After today's mood, yeah. So uh, what was challenging about working in glass? Tell us about that. I think what was hard was that when I started doing the work, I was just having ideas and sending them and saying, can we make this? And it wasn't until I got to village, visit the factory in Merleraus, um, and... I think that's worth to, to note also that this collection is going to be produced not far from here. So it's all produced in Sweden in a, in a, a glass factory nearby called Merleraus. So, so seeing how the craftspeople there actually made things, that's how, when I really understood what the project should be and how should we resolve it. And I wanted to make something that sort of celebrated the materiality of glass. So my object is all glass, it's sandblasted, but there's no kind of additives. So it's very much, I let the medium decide what the object should look like. Well, interesting. Thank you very much, James, for coming here today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.